So in this short video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the combine feature to reference one part of another. So I have two parts drawn. This is the bolt. If I just turn on the um, edges, you can see it's just uh, a typical bolt. I've obviously uh, done the uh, thread with a swept cut along a helical path. And I also have another part done called a uh, nut. Now I've drawn the nut, uh, similar to the head of the bolt, but I haven't drawn the proper hole. The, I haven't threaded the hole. I put this much smaller hole through the center. That's just going to be used in a moment to um, to help me with the position. So I will just um, close the bolt because I'm more or less finished with that part. And what I want to do is bring a temporary reference of the uh, uh, the, the bolt into this nut part and over here just note there is no folder called solid bodies however if I now go to insert part I can go to my desktop where I saved it and bring in the bolt and now I can position it uh, where I where I like sometimes in the the rare occasion that it might suit you can just snap it onto the proper position but I always deliberately leave the inserted part off to one side. Also, uh, over on the left hand side, you may wish to also import things like the planes or axes. They don't necessarily come in with the part. So if I want to use particular planes to position this nut and bolt together, uh, it might be worth taking on the planes. But for now, I'm not gonna do that. So I'll take it there. Now I have a folder called solid bodies and it says two. And if I press the plus to the left of it, I can see the cut extrude, which is my nut, and the bolt is the bolt. So I now want to move one of those um, so that the two of them are basically interfering with each other. And it's not an assembly, so I don't actually have any mate tools. These are two bodies within the same part. So to move those, or move one of them, insert, features, move copy, and over here, under bodies to move, I will now select the bolt. And I now have to apply some mate settings. Every now and then, it may not look like this. There are two options. There are translate rotate motions, which will allow me to actually move it around like this. Or if I press constraints, uh, you may be more familiar with these. Uh, it's essentially, uh, it opens up the assembly uh, mates, uh, which will allow me to move these two together. So if I make sure I tick this box under mate settings, I can select the center of this hole in the, the nut. That's why I drilled it. And I can also hit the curvature of the cylinder of the bolt. And they go together. And if I either right click or press add, it allows me to put another into position. Now as it happens, I got lucky the nut and bolt are you know, pretty much um, where I want them to be. But if that wasn't the case, you could add another mate between this flat face and that flat face. And of course, you could just activate this dimension command and you can make that jump up in increments until the thread actually cuts through it. So there's actually an interference now. That bolt is bigger than the hole in the nut. But what I can now do is remove or subtract the bolt from this whole equation. And here's how I do it. Insert, features, combine. A very useful feature. I'll have more videos added shortly on the use of this feature. But for now, this is just the basic feature. If I, for instance, want to add both of those bodies together to make them the same body rather than being two, I would use an add. If I wanted just to keep the interference between them, I would use a common. But today, I want to select subtract. And your next two clicks are very careful. The first thing I select will be the main body. That's the part that's staying. The next thing I tick will be the subtraction or the, the body to be deleted. When I'm happy with that, either right click or press the green tick. And there you have it, the first combined feature. Uh, this little arrow, it's a little hyphen and a greater than symbol after the bolt shows that there's a link there, which means if I were to go back and edit that bolt, that would filter through into this nut part and this thread, this cut thread, would sync up with that and it would change as well. So if I just section that for a moment, you can see the thread is there and it, um, it's the exact precise size of the, the bolt.